Hey Pisces! Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing another freestyle reading for you guys. So let's create the space of conversation. Let's just hang out, see if there's anything that really needs to be said here through the cards coming in that resonates with you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would love, love, love for you to click on that subscribe button. It would honestly make my day if it resonates with you. If it does not, then please don't. <laughs> One day, my dream is to reach 100,000 subscribers. We'll get there one day. We'll get there one day. But your subscription would help. All right, Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Universe, what are the most relevant and important messages that Pisces needs to hear? Two of Swords. All right. So you could be feeling like there is a decision that needs to be made that hasn't been made already. So this could be a decision that you are trying to make. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? And you are maybe a little bit paralyzed thinking, damn, like I really don't know. Like if I go this way, this may happen, but then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get that. And then if I go that way, then this, this other thing would happen. It's like pros and cons, right? So you may be feeling blocked in regards to a decision, or you may be focused on the fact that an answer or a decision that you need from someone else is not arriving just yet. It's like, where is it? Like, so what are you deciding? Maybe this is a love relationship. This is maybe an approval for something. And you're just kind of waiting for a decision to be made. By the time the full moon comes, which I think it's on Thursday, the decision is going to be made. In your favor is what I heard. Nine of Wands as the challenge position. This card has been showing up quite a bit lately, Pisces. I think that maybe you have some kind of like accumulated um, frustrations or accumulated exhaustion from a journey that you have been in for a long time. You know, if it's in regards to your physical health, maybe you've been trying to get healthy for years and there comes a point in which you're like, you know what, this is exhausting. <laughs> or maybe this happens with your mental health or maybe with a specific project or your pursuit of success or financial abundance. And you may be feeling like you're up for it most of the time you're not thinking about giving up at all. It's like, I will continue going. But when the frequency lowers, when you're feeling kind of down for whatever reason, giving up starts to make a little bit more sense. And it starts to sound a little bit more appealing than it should. This card always brings to me the message, don't you dare give up right now. <laughs> Because it's kind of like that illustration, I don't know, I've seen it on the internet for years, of this little guy who's kind of like, um, I don't know if it's like searching for diamonds or something, and kind of like with a little thingy under the earth, just looking for it, looking for it. And you can see that he has done this for a while, and that he's this close to get to a diamond when he says, oh, you know what, I'm never going to get there, fuck it. And after all that effort, he quits right before the miracle. And this is what I think the universe is telling you not to um, let happen. You're right there. You're right there. You can almost feel it. You can almost touch it. That abundance that you want, it's right there. That relationship that you want is right there. It's almost here, Pisces. So don't give up. Don't close off. Continue to pick yourself up from the floor if you feel like you have fallen. And continue to refresh that energy of yours, your intention, your why, time and time again. And before you know it, you're going to be living everything that you've asked for. Everything that you haven't even allowed yourself to ask for. More abundance that you think it's possible. More love that you think is possible. More success than you think it's possible. So just, just keep going. I know it gets tough 
I know you may get tired, Pisces. I know you've been through a lot. But just stand up every time you fall. That's the only rule. <laughs> so in the recent past, you have the Justice card. You may have experienced some kind of blockage in the past, something that was meant or supposed to be for you, but for some reason didn't happen. And now that is being restored. So you may be pursuing the same thing again, and it's going to have a different outcome for you this time around. In the recent past, um, it seems like the universe wants to bring in justice to you in many different ways. If you have been wrong, it's like you're going to be receiving everything that was in any way taken from you. You're going to be receiving that back. Maybe through a decision that someone is going to make around the full moon. You may have, to have dealt with a Libra in your past. You have the High Priestess here. And for some reason I saw this card and I don't know why I thought of the Lover's card. Some of you could be um, experiencing a lot of kind of like spiritual awakenings through the mind space. Visions, um, almost what feels like interventions from your spirit guides, messages. And for some of you, it could be um, about a romantic situation. The High Priestess is... A direct connection for me, um, that's how I interpret it, direct connection to source. It's like an uninterrupted, it's like Wi-Fi, <laughs> you know, the internet we use, I guess, um, has the potential to sometimes go down and sometimes the signal is not clear, you know, and that happens with intuition as well sometimes. But with the High Priestess, it's almost as though you have internet like with a cable. It's like way more stable, way more um, solid in a way. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Take it if it resonates. But I do feel like... First of all, there is something that you are not seeing. And this, these four cards, I can't see the eyes of any of them. One is looking down, one is looking up. And the two that are looking forward have eyes covered. That's interesting. So the High Priestess, she's looking up to the Divine. Trusting the Divine for answers. Looking for the Divine to intervene. The Ego is looking to the floor. Defeated. Based on fear and human experience justice i like that justice is has it like the eyes covered because for some reason i feel like the justice is blind in the sense that justice will be justice no matter like who is on which receiving end and we know that in this world and this day and age that is not often the case sometimes the same punishment is not given for the same crime depending on the person on the other end. And that is not justice, according to me. And in this case, I do feel like you are receiving your justice and the other person is receiving their justice for something that has been made um, or, or something that was taken from you. It's like no matter how that person may be powerful or influential or whatever, it's like they're going to receive their karma and the same, you know, and you're going to be receiving the benefits just the same too. There's this angel, angelic energy. Kind of like, it looks like it's blinding the person making a decision, but I don't think it's like blinding them. It's influencing them. It's enlightening them. Someone here is going to make a decision that is going to affect you. And the angels are covering their eyes with the perspective that is going to be beneficial for you. It's like a divine intervention in a person who can make an important decision that can affect you greatly for better or worse. And it's like the angels are taking 
matters into their own hands, so to speak, and sort of like inspiring that person towards the decision that is fair to you. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You may be feeling at this time like there's a lot of fire. We mentioned this in a reading previously. A lot of fire energy. What I'm getting is that in your heart, in your soul, you will you will never lack fire, Pisces. Even if you're a water sign, what I'm getting is that no matter how tired you may get, no matter how your mental health may be affected or your physical health, no matter how many blows you take in your emotional health, whatever it may be, there's you're never going to run out of fire. And that fire is what keeps you fighting. You know, that keeps you going after your dreams, going after what you know you deserve. And that fire is never going to run out because that fire is directly brought from spirit. It's it's endless. <laughs> There's a song by Justin Bieber that I really like, um, Peaches. And he says, my light comes from the source, directly from the source. And that's what I'm feeling here. Your light comes directly from the, from the source and it's never going to run out. While other people in your life, people that unfortunately hate on you or have weird feelings towards you, these people are not getting their energy from source. They're getting energy from uh, physical... Kind of like rituals, physical stuff like that, that makes their energy more powerful in the physical realm. But oftentimes actually blocks the flow of things, the infusion of pure energy from source. It's like they take matters into their own hands, but just like a little bit too much. And instead of trusting the universe, they try to overpower it. This may resonate with some of you. And in your case, um, Pisces, you are more of a universe guide me, lead me. Like, I trust you, universe. Show me where you want me to go based on what I've told you I want. But this other person that could be around you, could be a fire sign, could be um, a Libra. They have this kind of like God complex and... They take their manifestation into a toxic space. Instead of trusting the divine, they want to cancel the divine. They want to say, you know what? I am God. You know, fuck God. I am God. I can make anything happen if I put enough energy into it or whatever. And um, what I'm getting is that this person is getting away with a lot. But everything that they get away with takes them a little bit further away from their actual path. And they think that they're just like creating this whole new path and stuff. And they may to a certain extent, but I feel like the tower moment that is going to bring them back to their sort of like soul contract is inevitable. They think that they're creating a new timeline. They think that they're creating a whole new thing. That they have cancelled their previous decisions as far as their soul contract in this lifetime. They think they have all the control, but they don't. And time and time again, the further they go from their path, the universe will bring tower moments to bring them back. So it's like they're almost accumulating a whole bunch of tower moments. And I don't think that's going to be very pleasant to watch, quite frankly. Take it if it resonates. Some of you may not know what I'm talking about, and that's all right. In the future, you've got the moon. Again, there's this emphasis on the moon. We have a lunar eclipse in Taurus on Thursday. I don't know if this is right, so don't quote me on this. But I think I heard Gregory Scott, which is one of my favorite um, readers and astrologers, Say that this one is going to be like three hours long or something. It's going to be 
according to him, I think he said this, I hope I'm saying it right, that it's the longest eclipse that has happened in like 500 years or something like that. You can research that and see if, if that's accurate. Um, but I do feel like this is going to align things. And for some reason, man, I feel like this person, those of you who can identify this person in your life, they're going to go through something... A big shake-up, let's just put it that way. There's a lot of Pisces energy here. A lot of intuition, a lot of emphasis on your life purpose, your spiritual path. You are being represented by the Knight of Wands. So there is a lot of drive. There is a lot of fire inside of you, Pisces. Romantically speaking, maybe right now you're not the most reliable potential partner for another. Um, maybe you want a relationship, you want a connection, but you're not really emotionally available, not entirely. Or maybe you're actually not interested in a romantic relationship and you're more um, kind of vibing with like a one night stand situation or just like a fling or something like that. Because the Knight of Wands tends to be kind of like in and out energy. We see a volcano erupting at the distance. But it seems like a, the Knight of Wands is ahead. The Knight of Wands in this illustration has already taken path. Taken road, I guess. And it's like further away. But I feel like this volcano man is what's going to happen to the person who has been trying to block you. It's not going to be pretty, man. It's going to be quite aggressive and quite brutal. Because I feel like this person has been trying to block your path. In some cases, there's a person who wants to exchange your life path with theirs. Like, claim your timeline and, sh and exchange it and that you get their timeline. And they think that they're being successful with this. But man, like that volcano looks aggressive, aggressive as fuck. Look at that, it's like... It's not good. And justice is being made for you. I see. So, you know, keep doing what you're doing. The universe has your back. God has your back. The light is in you. Source energy is in you. So even if sometimes things feel delayed, even if sometimes you're not having the best time, in the end, you're always going to be exactly where you need to be. And if you continue to have the good attitude of taking each challenge and obstacle and somehow turning it around into a strength, really, no matter what you go through, you're only building yourself up for more goodness. God knows it gets exhausting sometimes, that's for sure. So learn to rest, not to quit. So we have here Ace of Wands in your environment, and this particular planet here, I don't know if it's Jupiter, but it's giving me full-on Jupiter vibes. <laughs> and in your environment, there's a lot of... I'm feeling almost like this divine judgment. Even though we're not getting the judgment card, maybe just yet, um, I feel like this kind of like almost doomsday kind of energy, but not like in the sense of like the end of the world. Instead, it's kind of like God saying enough is enough. <laughs> My stomach growled when I say that. I'm going to take that as a confirmation. <laughs> kind of like enough is enough. And restoring balance. And in this case, it's going to be on your behalf. Because you have been affected in the past by things that someone who is very reckless has been doing. And God is saying enough is enough. And in this moon, things will be restored. Four of Pentacles. Continue to pr be private about your stuff, Pisces. King of Pentacles. Be mindful about your money. Keep your feet on the ground. 
head on your shoulders. Distinguish what is a manifestation and what is a trick, is what I'm hearing. Wow, a trick. Meaning that, you know, don't take on more than you can chew. Let's say that you want to manifest a car. And you already have bills to pay, you already have commitments. And the bank tells you, hey, you know, you can get this amazing Jeep that costs 80,000 bucks, but we'll finance it for you, you know. Or you can take this other one that you like a lot that is 15,000. Will you go with the burden and the extra responsibility that potentially can give you stress? And that is probably unnecessary with the super high ticket car. Or are you going to take the one that is good in every way, that is balanced? The one that you like will get you everywhere you want to go, does not represent a risk or um, additional stress, and is not influenced by ego. That decision shouldn't be influenced by ego. And I think that's what I'm getting here with the King of Pentacles. It's like, even if you get the chance to manifest ridiculous things, think about how you're going to feel sustaining that manifestation. And take that into consideration. All right, Pisces, so this is what I have for you guys today. Interesting reading. I love to see how connected you are to the divine. And I love to see how your water is putting out the fires that someone here apparently is trying to bring into your life. As far as news from the channel goes, personalized readings are available. They're taking a while, okay? I always say that because I don't like to feel pressured as I go through the list of personalized readings. If you're waiting for your personalized reading, know that I am making progress um, every single day, a little bit of progress with the readings. I try to do them with the best energy possible. So there's some days in which I just, I just can't. And that delays the process a little bit. Oh my god, yesterday, for example, I couldn't do um, anything. <laughs> Because my energy was so messed up and disturbed by this Travis, Travis Scott situation. Goodness gracious, that was intense. So I was like, I'm not going to do any reading with any, any tiny bit of this energy affecting me. Like, fuck that, no. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it takes a while for the readings to arrive. But I promise that when they do, they have my all. You know, my all. And... To book them, you can go to the website. You can also write to the email. I think they're available right now, like at the store. You can just go to the website and just like purchase them, and Norse is gonna get it's gonna like get back to you and stuff. Just know that it may take a while. I'm also doing not only the personalized readings, but actually the 2022 forecasts, which are amazing. Honestly, they it's kind of like a 12 month reading that you can use every single beginning of each month. So it's like a it's like 12 personalized readings in one, honestly. And you get like the full forecast, but then you're advised to at the beginning of February kind of like go back to it. Listen to it again, and you're going to find that the messages are like <gasps> exactly what you need to hear, the answers and everything. Then at the beginning of March, in the beginning of April, you're going to notice that it's like a gift that keep on giving <laughs> because it really does take you through the year. So if you would like one of those, it's the same price. It's the same uh, way to get it. You can just go to the store. And right now, everything is 50% off. Not the personalized readings, but all of our online products, including our bestsellers, the energy protection course to help you protect your energy from... Anyone and everything that could be in any way delaying you or making you feel unstable. And we also have the Abundance Blueprint course, which is, I think that's actually the most, the most sold one, I think, at this point. It's like they kind of battle for the first place, those two. <laughs> and it's about healing your relationship with money and actually learning how to manifest in that realm, not from effort, 
and not from stress, but from specific energy techniques that make that whole area of your life just start to feel different. God knows that we stress a lot about money in this um, society and that it really makes a difference between the kind of freedom that we have and the freedom that we get. So if you feel like you would like to improve that area of your life, that's a very wonderful way to do it. And now that there is a lot of people, a lot of you guys, powerful Pisces in that space, we have found that as soon as you sort of sign up, it's like you begin to be contained by that higher frequency in that area of your life. We've had a lot of comments telling you, telling us, like, I just signed up. I literally watched one video, the introduction, and I already received a bonus or a discount or some kind of um, financial manifestation. And that's what I think it is. I think that we have created sort of this like bubble of high frequency um, Pisces energy with this area. And that's why people just kind of like, and I know that sounds like a super like good sales point or whatever. I mean, I guess it is, but I mean, it's, it's for real. Those of you who understand energy, you know that that tends to happen. Like when you um, work with like a mentor or something, if that person is extremely high vibe, they sort of like contain your energy a bit and they lift you up. And I think that this is what's happening with the course at this point. Specifically that one. We haven't seen that in the other ones. Not really. But with this one, it's it's kind of crazy. Even Dorsa, my assistant, she started the course. I, I think I already told you guys. It was a while back. She started the course and crazy stuff started happening to her. Positive stuff in regards to money. And she told me like, dude, this is insane. Like, I believe in everything we do, but this is crazy. <laughs> and I was like, yay, yes. <laughs> that's exactly what we're going for. So that's that's very exciting. And it, um, right now it's 50% off, so it would make sense to take advantage of that if you want it, of course. Everything is going to be under the video. I want to thank everyone who is subscribed. I want to invite everyone who is not. I want to thank all of you for your donations. Jesus Delgado, thank you so much for your continuous donations. We really appreciate them. Um, besides that... Thank you for the members of the channel who continuously give on a monthly basis. You guys make it um, possible for these videos to continue to come out and for us to have the space and time to really devote ourselves, me and my team, to serving the Pisces Collective. I love you guys and I will see you in the next read. Bye.